everybody. Dan Clement here with Stalls. In this version of Secret Sauce video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a comparison. We're going to actually we're going to work on Photoshop's AI, the generative fill inside of Photoshop. Uh, but I'm going to kind of show you what it's good at and what it's not so good at, right? So uh, let's go ahead and get right in it. So what you see here, this happens to be an image that I generated in Mid Journey. Okay, so we're going to use this. I like it. I dig it. Although it's not exactly what I asked for. If you look at my prompt here. T-shirt graphic, right? Small surf shop. That's right. Tropical beach, sun shining, waves, surfboards, painted in oils. Nah, it's kind of watercolory looking to me. Not really oils, but hey, it still looks cool. So we go with it. What I want to do is I generated this. I dig the style. It's kind of like kind of nice looking. So I'm going to copy this prompt, right? And we're going to go in the Photoshop and we're going to see, let's just go ahead and make a new one. Hit create. We're going to see what Photoshop does with that prompt. So inside of Photoshop, you'll see this little menu window here, right? This is my, this is where it all happens. This is the generative fill. So I'm going to just kind of move it out of the way. Uh, now, it, you know, it says select subject because I have nothing selected. So if I go to select menu all, right, it generates a marching ant selection. Now I can go ahead and hit generative fill and I'm going to paste my prompt in. And I'm going to hit generate, right? And it's going to go ahead and attempt to generate something similar to what we just saw in Mid Journey. Now, Mid Journey is a great app. It's a pay-for app. It's one. Of, it's my favorite AI artwork generator. Uh, but there's a bunch of other good ones out there that are free. And this is pretty basic and pretty weak, right? So let's. It gives three options. So with your properties uh, panel up, you can click on here and. I mean, again, it's sort of kind of in the neighborhood of a beach thing, but it is terrible. These are absolutely weak, horrible, no good, right? So I wanted to show you that because that is Photoshop's version of its own attempt to generate artwork. It's not good at that. What it's good at is making adjustments to existing photographs, paintings, things like that. So let's give that a shot. All right, so here's our Mid Journey artwork open in Photoshop. So what you want to do at this point, you can see it's locked. Um, it's just our background layer. We're going to make some adjustments to this uh, first, and then we'll uh, play around with it and see what we can do. Uh, so I want to get rid of this. I don't know if it's a street sign. I don't know if it's a power pole, but it's at the ocean and in the beach, and it's stupid, right? So I'm going to grab my lasso tool, and I'm just going to come over here, and I'm going to go right around this shape here, right? Just like that. So I'm telling Photoshop to focus in on this area, right, with my, ma with my uh, magic wand, not magic wand, my lasso tool. I'm going to hit generative fill, and I'm not going to prompt it with anything. Let's just see what it does. It should know that, okay, I'm going to get rid of this thing uh, without any prompting whatsoever. Let's see what it does. It should give us three options. There we go. That looks pretty good. So let's see. That's the first one. That's the second one. I see a little weirdness here in the wave. Um, I'm going to go with this one. It looks a lot better. So what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and just merge these two down. So if I go to the fly out menu, merge down, command E, right? I just change my setting because, you know, you can work non-destructively in Photoshop with these things and just sort of let them stack up on you. But I prefer not to do that because what I want to do is I want to get it fixed like I like it. And then I'm just going to work with that one. I don't want other stuff happening. So same thing. I'm going to get rid of these, whatever that pole is and these lines here. I think they look like power lines or something. Hit generative fill. Hit generate. And let's see what it'll do. One other thing or a couple other things I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this thing over here because my eye keeps going to it and it's totally useless. And then probably this extra palm tree that's just sort of away and not really connected to my tree. Um, that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, I like the first one better. Yeah, I'm going to go with this because it's just a little bit clean up there if I wanted to. So come in here, merge it down. Um, and I could just go ahead and grab my, uh, my mouse over to this tell me I turned them off. So my spot healing brush, all right, make it smaller. Maybe kind of get rid of that. That looks pretty good. The rest is all right. It's part of the image there, right? So let's go ahead and get my lasso tool again. And let's just come in here and try to grab this section. Do the same thing with it. Let's see what we can get rid of. This thing works with photos as well, right? So whatever you want, you can create artwork and work with it this way, like out of any AI application or something, and you're good to go. Interesting. There's number two. They got splatters in there. 
All right, we're just going to go with this one, and I'm going to go ahead and merge it down. And what I can do is I can do the same thing. I can make this right bracket key makes my brush size a little larger. Kind of click over that and just make it go away. All right, so one more little fix as far as these removing things go. And I can do like this. I can also, if I wanted to prompt it, say remove, you know, palm tree leaf or something, but I don't need to. It should just do it automatically. Let's see what it's going to give us. Ah, perfect. That looks great. I'm not even going to look at the other ones. I'm going to merge it down. Okay. Now let's see what Photoshop can do. So I want to add some things to this. We cleaned it up using just a generative fill, and you can do that quite a bit. So I've still got my lasso tool selected. If I come in here and I do like this, right, uh, let's just draw a shape. And I'm going to say in here, go to generative fill, and let's do a small rowboat, right? We'll hit generate and see what it does. I figured we need a little something over there, and if I got a little rowboat, I can take it out in the ocean, bring it back in, that sort of thing. Works out pretty good for me. <laughs> All right, it's going to give us three options here. That one is absolutely terrible. Look like two small ones just randomly thrown in there. That's terrible. That's terrible, too. I like the boat better, but it's just not facing the right way. So what we could do is we could hit generate again. Let's see what it does. If that doesn't work, then we can change the shape, maybe, of our marching ants. Um, it might do a little bit better job. But I, I wanted a small little rowboat. A little one-person, two-person sort of thing. They probably have a name for them, but I don't know. <laughs> now we got two again. I don't even know. That's very weak. But one cool thing is what I'm trying to... Man, I'm going to hit while I talk here. The cool thing, they're terrible drawings, by the way. But if you notice, they really mimic the style of my painting. That's the beautiful thing about this feature in Photoshop. It really does analyze your image and tries to make it, whatever you're asking for, make it fit in and look like it belongs in there. Uh, it's just doing an extremely weak job of drawing these things out. Again, facing the wrong direction. Otherwise, I'd go with it. We could go with it. I mean, it's just me. Uh, but let me go ahead and throw that away. I'm going to try it one more time. I'll do like this. I'm going to change the shape of it a little bit, right? Maybe make it a little bit bigger. I don't know. Maybe it was trying to put too much in a smaller shape. So I'm just going to say small row boat gently down the stream. Sorry, got grandkids. <laughs> Ooh, kind of cool. Not what I was expecting, but I kind of dig it. That's better than that one. You know what? This looks better. I'm going to go with this. So, fly out menu, merge that thing down. That looks pretty good. Couple more things. Got me my lasso tool here. If I do like this and draw a little shape there, hold my shift key, maybe draw one more shape in here. Generative fill. Let's do flying seagulls. Look at that boat. I mean, it's pretty good it matches the style of my image perfectly i mean there's nothing really we need to do to it i don't know if i'd go into red one wow that is like just random invisible angel wings or something that's pretty bad so here i am talking good about this thing and that's what it generates that's not cool so if it doesn't do a better job here in another one or two clicks we're just going to call it done and not use them but um you know that's what you get Photoshop is not a person. It doesn't, I mean, it, it's not mimicking the style of the artwork at all, I don't think, anyway. No. One more time. If it doesn't work, we're not going to have flying seagulls, unfortunately. Although, we'll try one more thing. I'm going to try to change the shape of my blob. I don't know. Uh, I just want little silhouetted shapes. Oops, I must have hit the button again uh, on my mouse. Oops. All right, after this one, we're going to do one more, just changing the shape to see if it does a better job. These are, these are terrible. Ah, well, that one actually kind of works. We could go with that. Fly out menu, merge down. Now, there's my image. Um, I think we made it a little bit better. I'm not thrilled about the birds. They're sort of kind of okay, but... There's the weakest part of this, and I already merged it down, so I'd have to go back to my history panel and go back up here if I wanted to change that. I could. Um, but just to show you, uh, this is the strength of Photoshop's generative fill. It will add things and take things away from a photograph or a painting or whatever it is you happen to be working on. So um, 
hopefully you learned a little something and hopefully it works out handy for you uh, when you create your artwork. So thanks for hanging out. Look for me for the next uh, Secret Sauce video. See ya. Thank you.